welcome to Call for Help. How you doing? I'm very well. We were a little worried she might say lone butt, but <laughs> it didn't happen. It happened. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I bet you do. Yeah. What can I do for you, Don? Okay, what it was is I have an external hard drive that I partitioned by mistake. Now, I want to get my, inf my information off it, so I want to know if there's a program out there that I can, without having to take it in and have it done and sp spend a lot of money, a right. program I can get. Well, yeah, I mean, in fact, if you took it in, they would use the same programs that you would use. Right. It's, you, it, you know, so I guess the question is, uh, is it easier for you to go to somebody who knows how to use those programs, already owns those programs, and how much would they charge you? Uh, right. It may be that uh, the, tr the cost of the program is higher than the one-time charge for somebody to do this for you. Let me talk a little bit about uh, data failure on a hard drive because it's important to understand there's, there's almost different levels of data failure. Yours is kind of the simplest which is that the file system is gone it can happen because it's corrupted or because somebody pushed the wrong button. Uh, you've erased by when par partitioning it you've kind of uh, you haven't erased any data or not much data you you've erased the, the, the organizational structure. It's as if you went into a library and took the card catalog. Uh, it's gone. Uh, not only did you take the card catalog, but you built a wall right through the middle of the stacks. So uh, that's one kind of, you know, data loss. You could have data loss where, you know, you've actually maybe uh, the head, the power went out and the head went whoop, and wrote numbers, ones and zeros across the middle of the drive, which would be another kind of data loss. You could have a data loss where the hard drive itself uh, was no longer able to record in certain key areas. Uh, or you could have a physical problem where the drive itself is broken or damaged. You know, maybe the head hit the drive and scraped a piece of magnetic material off of it. So th those are all different levels and the, and the response to those levels varies quite a bit. That last one where you've got physical damage, it's going to would cost you thousands of dollars because you've got to go to somebody like Drive Savers and they have a clean room. They wear bunny suits because they, not one speck of dust can get into this room and they actually take the drive apart and they take the platters out and they put them in a new drive mechanism and they seal it all up. And, and, now that's very expensive. Fortunately, that's not what you need to do. You need uh, what we call a file level recovery system. Something that understands the Windows file system understands what data on your hard drive looks like, can go through all those ones and zeros in your hard drive and kind of reconstruct the file allocation table, the table of contents, can say, yeah, there's a, oh, there's a file, I see a file there, oh, there's a file. Now this is a tricky thing to do. Um, there are a number of different programs that will do this. I'm going to refer you to this article, PCStats.com, it's the Beginner's Guide to Hard Drive Data Recovery, and has links to it has stuff that I've talked about, but links to also some individual programs. In fact, here, here's a guy who did exactly what you did. He was running FDisk and partitioned, and primary partition, gone. So he talks exactly about how to recover the file system after it's lost. This is at PCStats.com, which is a great site for this kind of tutorial and how-to uh, article. Um, it, it, the, by the way, the response depends on the file system. What file system are you using, Don? Uh, uh, um, FAT, I think it is. FAT32? Uh, FAT32, okay, yeah. which is a little less... No, sorry, no, N NFTS? NTFS is much better. Yes. That's good news. Yes. Uh, NTFS is much better about damage to itself. FAT32 is, was not the most robust. So if, it, he says right here, if you deleted a, a partition by accident, uh, let me get these, look, quite a few ads in here. Let me just move this ad out of the way. Do not create another partition. Just leave it blank. And he says, the, you know, there are basically recovery programs you're going to run uh, on this. Um, there's, you know, there's active on erase. There's quite a few different uh, programs you could do. And he even talks really about almost how to do it by hand. So I'm just going to refer you to this rather than say one or the other uh, program. Okay. Um, I've, I've used a number. There's not, you know, I wish, I wish, I could say there were, was one, you know, like perfect program, but it, it really kind of depends on what you've done. Since, since you lost an NTFS partition, um, uh, there, is, there is a program he recommends called Find NTFS. It's a free program that will locate the NTFS uh, allocation tables, the, the table of contents, and will copy the lost files over. So this is actually a good it's a, as you can see, a command line program. It's again, I'll, you could Google it. Fi one word: find NTFS. I've got it now. Oh, didn't take you long, did it, Don? I love it. <laughs> our, I love our viewers because we know they're sitting there like this, hands poised over the keyboard. So this is a this is a command line utility that I think is going to do what you want it to do.
But what I would say is before you do too much messing around with the drive, um, you know, generally what we'd like to see you do is make a ghost of it or some, okay. sort, of, some sort of image. You, it's hard because uh, it, it has to be a program that doesn't uh, care about file systems. It's just copying sector by sector. Ghost will do that, won't it, Steve? Yeah. Steve Gibson said Ghost is, Norton Ghost is a good choice. Will Drive Snapshot your uh, favorite program? It will not. It doesn't need a file system. Okay, Drive Snapshot needs a file system, but Ghost from Symantec does not. That's about an $80 program. What that'll do, and by the way, they use it, forensic scientists use it uh, for criminal forensics. Uh, when you're when you you know you're a bad guy and they got your hard drive, before they do anything they drive, they use Ghost to make an exact image and they work either on the image or on a backup of the drive so that they don't damage the primary drive. That's evidence, right? Okay. For you, the primary drive is your data. So my recommendation is make a ghost of that drive and then try this program uh, to see if you can recover that data. You probably will be able to recover 90% of your files. Good. That's the good, good news, yeah. I'll, you know, with a repartition, only a few files may have been damaged because the partition information is put on top of where they were. But the rest should be fine. Sounds okay. Good. Thank you, Don. Okay, well, thank you very much. Take care. Okay, you too. Thanks for calling.